I'm uh, Gidimir Morris. I'm a portrait photographer, varying from commercial work into editorial and uh, fine artwork mostly these days. Uh, based in London, originally from Tel Aviv. I've been here for about a year, and uh, that's that. <laughs> and would you say that you have a particular style of photography? Um, I wish I could say I have a particular style of photography. Uh, I think photographers are all searching for their style and it can take you 10 years and more and, and forever. Um, but uh, I'm still at that early stage of my career where I'm trying to figure out what I like doing, what I want to do, and uh, hopefully over time I'll figure out what my style is as well. What Wacom products do you own and uh, have you used in the past and uh, how essential are they to your creative process? Well, I've actually had a Wacom tablet for well, easily eight or nine years already. Um, before I came into photography, I was doing a lot of digital painting and um, illustration. I actually started as a graphic designer and shifted into other fields uh, over the years. So I've had a, some form of Wacom tablet for many, many years. Uh, I honestly can't remember when I got my first tablet. But I do believe that you can't do the kind of work that I do uh, without a tablet. I mean, it's just a completely different experience and the level of control that you have over what you actually do is is a different world. I think any photographer who respects himself should have some form of a tablet. It doesn't have to be Wacom, but, but I think there's a reason why Wacom have become an industry standard, to be honest. Well, honestly, all my uh, retouching work, all my compositing work, everything is done on a tablet. So the Cintiq just sort of took the place of my regular Wacom tablet for that. Um, when I, I'd had the device for about a week and I'd done the work that, um, that I usually do with my regular tablet, and it fit in well. I mean, it's a tablet like any tablet and um, definitely works well as any other tablet I have. Uh, but I didn't feel like it was something new that was going to change my workflow. Um, after I got through the project I was working on when I got the device, I decided to try something completely different. And I took one of the portraits that I shot in, um, in a shoot just a couple of weeks beforehand and tried to take it to a completely different place. I just unplugged from my laptop, sat down with the Cintiq on the couch, started just taking the, the photograph and painting around it and trying to turn it into something else. And that's actually when I started to realize that this device is completely different than anything that I have. Um, the experience that you have painting directly onto the image, it just takes you to a completely different place. I mean, um, I actually blogged about this uh, after I got the device that I felt like I'd been thrown back to my childhood when I was painting. I'd gone back to when I was standing in front of a canvas, an empty canvas, and just creating something out of nothing which is something I really miss as a photographer. And uh, the Cintiq really brought that back out in me. Um, it just gave me a chance to look at my work in a different way. Uh, and how, how easy was it to move around with the Cintiq Companion and use it wherever you wanted to? Well, obviously, it's a, a completely um, mobile device like any other, so uh, you have complete freedom. I think a lot of the things that limit you are actually in your head. When you're used to doing the kind of work that I do in front of your computer with you know, the, the tabletop tablet, uh, your mindset is that that's where you need to work. And the Cintiq actually allowed me to unplug and go, first, first step was the couch, second step was a coffee shop, third step was uh, St. James's Park. I just sat there and painted. And that's something that I could never do with my laptop and a physical tablet. And it's just, I think it takes you some time to realize that you can suddenly just take the device, unplug it and go and work, which is something uh, we're not used to doing. So to move on to the, you know, maybe possibly more negative things, I mean, it, how would you like to see Wacom add to or change the Cintiq Companion in the future? Well, I think the most common thing that people in my industry say about a device like the uh, Cintiq is that the fact that it's a Windows device, while most of us are using Mac and you have Mac software and that's the realm we're used to working in, that's actually really limiting. I mean, the tools that I'm used to as a professional um, yeah, I have my workflow, I have my way of doing things, and if I need to switch to a different OS, it's not that Windows is bad, it's just that it's different. So that is already an impediment to actually growing. And I know that that's not necessarily something that Wacom can do much about, but that's definitely something that if they find a way to do, uh, would completely change the product for people like me, in my opinion. Um, other than that, there aren't many things. I think um, the screen isn't really bright enough to use outside. Uh, the one time I tried to paint outside, I found that very, very hard kept struggling to find shadows so I could actually do something. Um, but other than that, I mean, the battery lasts long enough to definitely get a lot of work done and the device is fast. I mean, I was painting um, one of my camera, one of the, or one of the things I did was this painting, the, um, 
only the winds. And this file is actually huge. We're talking about, um, I think the final PSD was five or six gigs. And I printed it recently. Uh, uh, I made a limited edition print, which was a half meter by a meter, and I could easily have made it bigger. Now, most, struggle, most laptops would struggle with a file that size, and I was actually really surprised that I could paint freely, working on this image pixel level without any lag or a little bit of lag sometimes, but most of the time, the device really surprised me. It's much more powerful than I expected. And lastly, I mean, would you recommend the Cintiq Companion to other creatives or friends? Or? It depends. If you are an illustrator, a digital designer or something like that, definitely. Um, I think it just gives you a completely different way of looking at your work. If you're a photographer, it really depends on the kind of photography you do. If you are um, you know, a photographer who works with batches of images, wedding photographer, that kind of thing, probably not for you. If you're the kind of photographer who takes a single image aside and works on it for a long time because he's trying to composite something or building something, then it's, it's a very interesting tool to have. Again, it really depends on the kind of photography you do and the kind of workflow you have as a creative. I mean, for me, a lot of my work at the moment, especially trying to shift more into fine art, it's more about what's going on here and here than what's on the computer screen. So being able to you know, detach myself from the, uh, work, my regular work environment is, is a huge asset.